House of Wolves here, just a quick update on the control scheme, a few minor fixes, and I also added a new action set called Numbers. When I started out to make this, I wanted it to be where I never had to touch my keyboard, and where I was severely lacking in that was with uh, splitting stacks or entering in numbers in the auction house. I would always have to go to my keyboard. Now, although this is not a perfect solution to this, it does function and it will keep you off the keyboard and we'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, so let's go over these quick fixes I had here. If we go down here and go to the B button, we'll click on long press and you see that the binding is Z. Now, the problem was I had it at turbo to begin with, but I remade the scheme and forgot to set this on turbo on the original. So simply all I did was turn it on the turbo, it still functions the same, hold B, and your backpack is dropped. Also, I had the same issue here on O. O was set up as a double press. I changed that to a long press, turned turbo on, and you should no longer have issues with that. All right, I just want to go over a few things in looting that I might not have covered in the first video. And uh, that would be clicking on the left stick. That is R, which is rotate, which helps you move and sort things in your hideout. The next thing that I changed in looting was I added a way to a new action set. As you can see here, pressing left on the D-pad is changed to numbers. Change to numbers takes us to the numbers action set where you can enter numbers using your controller. And it's pretty simple. We'll just go through it here real quick. Left bumper is zero. Right bumper is one. Select is two. Start is three. The face buttons is four, five, six, seven. Up and down on the D-pad is eight and nine. If you go to the left stick here and click it in, that will be your backspace. If you go to the right stick and you want to move the text cursor, you simply press left or right on the right stick and that will happen. And finally, right on the D-pad is enter. When you're done using your number uh, numbers action set, go ahead and hit left on the D-pad and that will take you back to looting. Now, an important note here, if anybody's worried, you cannot get to numbers from gameplay AD or ADS. Looting is the only way you can access this, so no worries about getting stuck there. And finally, I just want to go over the ADS safety button that I had implemented. I didn't really cover it that much, and I just want to reiterate it real quick. So, in rare occasions, when you go into ADS and, say, somebody runs into you and your weapon's at your side and you can't aim or you run into a wall, well, the command to go back to gameplay wasn't given. So, even though you're not aiming down sights, you would be in the ADS uh, action set. Now... The safety measure here that I've taken to get you back and you won't get stuck is simply press right on the D-pad. But let's go ahead and I will go into Tarkov, get into the looting, and uh, you'll be able to see the new action set. Okay, now that we're in Tarkov, I just wanted to go over a few looting things that I might have missed on the first video. Uh, quick one here, hold X, hit right trigger for quick equip of items. A, right trigger still moves to the back. If you go and hold an item to drag it and click in the left stick, you will rotate it. And I believe that's all I missed on that part. Alright, let's get started with the numbers action set here. So, from looting, which is the only way you can get to numbers, we will find our stack here. Let's say uh, the 60 rounds here. Hold A. Press and drag with the right trigger, and you will notice the split will come up. Now, note that this does work with the auction house as well when you're trying to buy a certain amount of items. So once split comes up, 
we want to be working with numbers without pressing the keyboard. So what we'll do is we'll press left on the D-pad, and as you notice at the bottom here, it'll show numbers. You see the numbers there? That means we're now working with numbers. So let's say I want these 10 rounds. Well, right bumper is the number 1, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And left bumper is the number 0. I got my 10 rounds, and I will press right on the D-pad for enter. Now notice when I hit enter, it automatically goes back to looting. So you're at your default looting control scheme to make it easier for you. The next thing I want to show you is, well, let me go ahead and split this one more time. And I still want the 10 rounds, but I accidentally pressed 11. Now we can use our right stick to move the text cursor here. If you pay attention to the 11 here, you notice it's moving left and right. And we'll get behind that one. And if we wanted to delete a number, we will press left on the, or down on the left stick to delete. And I changed my mind, I want 12 rounds. I'll press the select button. I have 12, right on the D-pad to hit enter. Boom. There we have it. And that'll do it for the video. If you like what you've seen, please drop a like. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. And I'll see you all in Tarkov.